Hello friends, welcome back to my channel HCN and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I will show you that how do you align any uh, sequencing result using Snapchain. There are two different processes to alignment. Um, one is online and another one is offline. I already discussed about the online alignment tools. And here I will show you that offline, uh, how, to, how to do offline alignment. So for that, I already opened my Snapchain file and then you have to go to the left side you can see one option here so you have to click this one and then you have to uh, and then it takes you to your desired folder where your snapchain uh, where your sequencing result so out of that you have to select one or you can you can by control you can by pressing control you can select uh, more than one multiple multiple sequence you can um, you can select at the same time so first i would like to open this one and then uh, on the um, window pop up so you see here the in details about that sequencing result so if you would like to rename this you can right click it and then rename you can rename it and if you would like to remove this sequence you can also remove from the here so here you see the all of the this uh, sequencing result is aligned to aligned very well with the with theoretical sequence but not all of the part are aligned properly you see here there are some parts there are some parts are um, this like in the theoretical sequence there is no C base pair but in your sequencing result there is one C base pair and also here is one C base pair uh, this is the additional mutation and also in, in here if you see this kind of dash in your sequencing result so it indicates that this is the deletion mutation so it means that uh, one of the base pair is deleted so here you see in in the theoretical sequence there is one a base pair but here there is that a is deleted so this is the deletion mutation and here also the ch this mutation is a change because before your in the theoretical sequence it was c and now it uh, it changed to t so this is also another kind of mutation Thus, so there are three different kind of mutations so but um, this is just for example i saw i showed you that how uh, you can you can check the uh, different kind of mutation but uh, if you look at very clearly so for that you have to if you would like to see the chromatogram data so for that you have to click here and you can see then then for each uh, nucleotide base there is a respective peak so this each peak mm -hmm. is showing each peak is showing the nucleotide base so so for that uh, you see if you take your cursor here so it, it's showing the one of the nucleotide base here and also from here so here everything is like this but if you you see here the, all of the peaks are very sharp so it means like every pitch every peaks are for dedicatedly for one nucleotide base but if you see this kind of um, this kind of this kind of overlapped overlapped part like uh, your peaks are overlapped with another peaks so it means that like this your sequencing result is not that not good in that part so you cannot rely on that kind of sequencing result in that part so mostly you cannot rely your sequencing result from um, from around from 20 to uh, 20 you can rely 20 to 800 to 850 around so from the 20 to 850 maximum you can rely your sequencing result but after the 850 or before 20 you cannot rely that sequencing result so for example for example if you if, if you go to the, um, the the starting part so this is you can see so this is the starting part so you can see here if you take your cursor it's showing that there's 17 16 so this is the this is the starting of the sequencing result so for that you see here also the starting there is one deletion mutation but you cannot rely this sequencing this deletion maybe this deletion mutation is not there so for confirming you have to you have to design the another primer to cover this part but this is the end 
so this is the start the starting of this sequencing result so we cannot rely this part so maybe uh, this is okay no problem in the theoretical sequence also in the ending part you can if you check very clearly in the ending part you see there are there are a lot of, of peaks are overlapping right so also there are a lot of peaks are overlapping and uh, also there are a lot of mutations so also here you can see these parts are 860 8 this part also yeah 850 860 right this is you see 858 857 so this part is also almost end of the sequencing result so you also cannot rely after this part so you can see 850 right so around 850 so up to this this part you can rely this result but after that after that from the from 850 to from 850 to 993 so this sequencing this part of the sequencing result you cannot rely so you have to cover with another sequencing another primer to cover this part so let right. so i already um, discussed this kind of part that how to how to align and how to um, how to check with the chromatogram data and also also if you if you'd like to uh, select multiple multiple sequencing result then also you can do that align sequence align multiple sequence and then click another one Okay, so you see there are two different two different sequencing result and also both are selected and if you would like to select one then only that sequencing result will show in here so if you if you deselect one so that sequencing result will not show here so this is now there is only one sequencing result is selected so you see there there is only one sequencing result so according to your preference you can select it or deselect it no problem okay that's it guys so i hope this video will be helpful if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks